Yeah, I mean, it's like instant credibility when you have those letters after your name, P.E. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you're on the path to licensure, which is great. You're Maybe you're preparing for the exam, which I know can also be very challenging, and it requires a lot of intense focus and desire, quite frankly, because you probably have a job at the same time that you're doing this, which is taking up a lot of your time. But I know the one thing for me when I worked at a consulting firm and we were interviewing people or evaluating people in the organization, even if someone had the EIT, right, they passed their FE exam, to me, that tells me a lot about someone right? They're on the path to licensure. They're investing in themselves. They're investing in, in their careers. What would you say in terms of, you know, the payoff for someone? Because it is hours and hours of studying. It is a lot of work to do it. You have to maintain your license. But in terms of like, you know, when you invest in something in your career, you do want to have a return on it. Like, I would imagine that when you evaluate members, when you look at your young leaders, that that's a big part of it. Yeah. All right. Let's be frank. You get your PE. It's going to put you on a different trajectory in terms of pay opportunities, compensation sure. opportunities. Depending on your workplace, it might put you in line for a different bonus structure. You know, so compensation is obviously huge. You already mentioned that it brings this credibility. It also makes you incredibly marketable. So, yeah, <laughs> so, no, I'm... yeah, and I hope that you're all with a great firm and you want to stay there and work there for a long, long time. But you know. Wow, you put those initials behind your name and you're all of a sudden incredibly marketable to other firms as well. So it, it opens up career paths that you can't even imagine. And I couldn't be the CEO of CS Davidson if I didn't have PE behind my name. That's the bottom line. If I'm going to manage and lead an, a professional engineering organization, I better darn be one as well.